Hey guys, you you Kirby here with another episode of Spyro 3 Year of the Dragon, part of the Spyro Reignited Trilogy. Almost done, which we come so. In the last in, in the last episode, we did some revisiting with our new friend Sergeant Bird when we returned to Enchanted Towers and returned to Sunrise Spring to go back to Molten Crater and got him a job at Tiki Lodge. And in Enchanted Towers, we did we fixed George the Shelton again. We also did the Sunny Vila skill point for score attack. We couldn't do this Chan Towers one because of weird things. This time, we're actually gonna take the take the whirly gig. We're gonna talk to Burry because I don't care about anyone any of the other guys. Okay, game. Let's go to. <laughs> Version I, I'll, I'll add. I should have known better than to rely on a child. But don't worry about it. I'll deal with them now. These eggs can't be worth all this trouble. Without the dragons, the magic in this world will wither away. Without magic, I'll die. And so will your ever slim chance of becoming a sorceress. Now, watch. I don't understand that. Dispatches her enemies. Release me from this cage, you merciless miscreants! How would you like some dragon for lunch? <laughs> I, I, I never said when the sorceress says, I'll die and so will your chance of being a sorceress. We're still missing! We're still missing! Anyway, cause like, Bianca won't die. We were- Oh my god, it's funny! My tactical instincts told me the sorceress would attack you here, so I flew in to help out. It seems my rocket launchers don't affect this creature, but I can assist you by dropping ammunition. Now get in there and fight the good fight! Ladies and gentlemen, meet Spike! This battle is done similar to how the Ripto fight went. Basically, just keep an eye on Bird and and use hit use the use what he drops to damage Spike. Spike will after the second hit, Spike will actually start using some of these. He also will he also will be able to yeah oh never really so true. Damage. Oh. So basically, the name of the game is get to the power up as fast as possible. Keep an eye on bird. And. I've been a bit of a bully, so let's let Spike get one of these. Okay, not sure how the heck I got caught, but sure game. That was actually quite bull crap <laughs> when they got hit, but oh well. Yeah, anyway, back to cutscene. I really don't get why, what the heck the sorceress means by if Ed Sergeant Burn dropped a chicken. <laughs> uh, anyway. That was really weird. Anyway, because like I don't get why she says that. It's like, how does her death, death bring the bring the long the the, the um bring the death of Bianca's dream of being a sorceress? That's really weird. It's like, I don't get that. Anyway, with Spike defeated. We now move on to Evening Lake.
which for some strange reason does not have a starting um, entrance thing. And you automatically start with the Bianca scene too. So we can't really go back Listen yet. To me, Dragon. Spyro, this is serious now. The sorceress is planning a trap for you, and if she catches you, believe me, you don't want to know what she's going to do. Look, I promise to take good care of the rest of the eggs. I mean it. Just take Hunter and go back home before... Before... I can't say it. Just go. Huh. She's actually starting to be friendly. Anyway, let us return to Midday Gardens because with Spike's defeat, we can now go do the second Spark Zone. Yeah, it's like you no noted. You noticed how Bianca's words was at, were actually softer this time. Some, I'm wondering what that means. But yeah, I don't understand why there's not why they didn't. Uh, oh well, okay. I'll 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 give this up when we act when we finish the Spark Zone and we start exploring Evening Lake. But it's just a really weird thing. I'll, I'll admit. Everyone's still hanging around when we landed, but now they're gone. Anyway, anyway, let's go and get back Sparks to full. The one thing I will admit is these next two zone, uh, Midday Gardens and Sunrise Spring hat don't really have ease. Eh, actually, none of them really do, actually. Anyway, hey there, Zoe. How's Hi, it going? Hi, Hi, Sparks. I've located another lost egg. Yeah, basically, the, basically all she'll say is, Hi, Sparrow. Hi, Sparks. I've located another egg in this area. Would you like to send Sparks? So, yeah. Anyway, next, for Sparks' second adventure, we go to Spider Town. So now we have barriers which block our way. We also have spiders to deal with. Big one, these big ones basically send out shockwaves. The key is we'll deactivate barriers in this stage. Yeah, yeah. The music for these is something I don't really like. I wish they had came up with with music tracks for these zones. Cause these, these just seem really plain that they they're, they're just going the uh, Spiral Three main theme. It's it's not lazy. It's just really weird. I was just here how just. Just creepy the screams of the spider sound. Well, we don't well, there's a barrier uh collar. So we can't do that. We'll drain off of the rest of our ammo for this. Still no sign of that button. Alright, so we need to determine which one of these breaks. Yep, oh, and first try. Go away. Next. There's the button. And since we actually pass it, this one, I won't be an idiot and ignore it. See, I was not an idiot and ignored it. And did not ignore it. So now we have the rockets. Like I said, on a, I suggest using these only for like big targets. Like the, like the bigger spiders and uh, collars. That's, that one sets out these out in a very fast pace. We are kind of, kind of... 
No, we have to go go search that thing. Yeah, Jesus Christ, there's now five there. Is there, yeah, we're going to, yeah. Yeah, for some reason, these ones do a lot faster, so it's like, mm. this is This is my issue with, with things that summon enemies. It's like, mm. Let's collect the gems, and here, this guy will use our rock. We use two, because I held down the button. Yep. So now we can get to destroy that one super fast. Like, I shudder to see what, how many there are now. Oh, it's just the, oh, it's just those, okay, it's just, it was just five. I think this is the boss. Yeah. Nope. Let's see where these smaller guys, and then we'll put that fire on this guy. Red ones, those are new. We want to save these, save those. I'm gonna waste the rockets because I want to see what the red ones, what the red ones do. Oh, oh, oh! It's the crescent shot. Okay. And welcome to the Spider King. He'll send out sending minions after you, and spin around a lot. At least there's first part. But this actually is pretty helpful because actually pierces your stuff. If he pierces his men. He actually is a pretty annoying boss. He honestly he's kind of my least favorite of the boss of the Sparks bosses. Mostly due to the fact that he just sends out his minions super fast. He is a big target. Tar <clears throat> he is a big target though. And after this Spin and a sense of blue. Uh, stupid minions. There we go. Now we got him. Amazing. You did a cartwheel. We. <laughs> And that is every gem. That is this stage 100% completed. I didn't have to backtrack like an idiot, because I stupidly forgot to destroy something. <clears throat> Sorry about that, I just needed to stretch. You notice that we did not talk to Zoe. In the remake, we actually lose two powers, two, two power up um, segments for Sparks. This one was going to be the Gem Searcher, but since we've since I've already used it a numerous times in all three of these LPs, we are we do not have that. I'm gonna spoil what when we. When, I'm, I'll say what the other one we we do not have is when um, we actually do it. Yeah, only second and fourth Sparks worlds will lose their powers. So Evening Lakes will still give us the power. And honestly, it's a lot more useful than what we got in the first in Sunrise Springs. Alrighty, so now we can actually explore Evening Lake. And remember all the way back when I said that at the beginning of this LP when I said... Hmm, interesting. I, I guess the re... Okay, anyway. 
I'll get to my first point after this. Well, actually, my second point's now kind of rendered no though I now that I think about it. Anyway. Remember when I said all the way back at the beginning of the LP that uh, stages were actually had different soundtracks in the remake and they re reused music? This is the first one. This world shared Sunrise Springs theme. So honestly, when I first played this version of this game, it was the first time I heard this theme song. Anyway, all of these, all of the stages in this, except for two, are actually going to be underwater. Hence, Evening Lake. We're, we'll explore the water when, when we're actually done exploring everything on land. And invincibility shield, which doesn't get used a lot in this. This is like one of the very few things, and also it's super fast. Honestly, I think Evening Lake's my favorite of these worlds. I don't know, I like the aesthetic of it. And now we are done with everything on land. So everything else resides underwater. So let's head bash in. I love doing that. Just I love head bashing in. Anyway, so we go this way, we'll find the portals for Charmed Ridge, our speedway, honey speedway. Okay, I don't, I've never actually been to this world without actually having, um, without having, um, Biblical joke. Biblical joke. Also, the whale's wearing pants. I never noticed it. The whale is wearing pants. I never noticed that when I first played this version. That is a really good touch. Anyway, here we have the portal for Lost Fleet. Anyway, anyway, back to what I was saying before we got swallowed up by the whale. I've never actually been to this world with, with minimum eggs, so honestly, I don't really know if this world has, um... Has a thing for, um, has characters being, being depressed that their portal is not working. Also, we passed by something that we need to charge. Yeah, also the frog swim. There it is. Right, this open for another egg. And some gems. Stooby. Fireworks Factory. Hey, that's that place that Sergeant Bird was actually was setting his rockets off of. Huh, interesting. Maybe we'll see him in there. Smash these and... This is the second portal that is not underwater. The friend stage. Talk to the let's talk to money bags. A real prize on our hands here. It took two dozen rhinox to capture this dim-witted furball, so you better believe he's not going to get out cheap. 
1,000. Very well then. I was having a rather good time poking him with a stick anyway. Yeah, even for you, that's not a good idea. He looks like he could rip your head off. So you better hope that I actually never pay for that cage, because that dim witted creature looks like he wants to just rip your face off, money bags. Alright, so we are missing some. Nope. Nope, still missing gems. Ah. Oh, there, there's one I missed. And Sparks is also pointing at something down this way? No? Up over, up over near Hunter Speedway? Yeah. Yeah, I missed his tail. Jeez, still not. I missed a lot. Alright, Sparks, where are we going? Down. Up. Oh, there's five. There we go. And that is 100% of Evening Lake. Let's surface. So let's just hang out over here. So, this is where we're going. I, I'm going to interrupt myself. I like the lighting of this. I like the lighting of this. This honestly looks re like a really cool shot. Anyway. So, that is going to be it for this episode. Join us next time for when we start exploring Evening Lake, Evening Lake's worlds. Who knows what we'll find in these, wor in these worlds. So, I will see you all next time. I'm going to let you enjoy the view a little bit. And, so long.